Hello creators and maker, this is The Random Engineer. Today we're going to continue with our series on designing a dog kennel. Uh, so I put some music on the last video and it got copyrighted, so I'm going to stop doing that. But to keep my my good energies, I'm going to start listening to music uh, just by myself. And I will probably just put some background royalty free music in the YouTube videos later. So, uh, just to keep going with our dock kennel, we, we did the sides and the tops, I guess, yeah. So this is our dock kennel for now. What we're gonna do today is make it, maybe just make, uh, use the, make the whole, uh, let me check. Yeah, maybe just the floor and front and back maybe which would be the same and then just make some editings, edits on the, on the, on the roof. All right. So let's just start going right now. So, uh, I'm going to create a new part, which is going to be a wood profile. We don't know how big this wood profile is going to be for now, but roughly we know a, a, a common size which is, uh, let's say 25 by six or seven. And we don't know our length yet. So for now, I'm just going to say uh, mid plane and maybe just say one meter for now. And we say wood um, floor. Right. So we're gonna give it appearance just because we are started. We want it to look better since from the beginning. So we're gonna say, uh, well, it needs to be like a maybe pine, no, just oak, I guess. Unfinished oak. So if I go 3D real view graphics should look better yeah looks better like, like that but we just want to hold on to that for for now so we are going to insert the components and say wood floor and we're just going to measure the the yeah, we're gonna measure it from there to there. And you can see here, uh, 1040, or you can evaluate and say measure, and then you get the X direction, which is the same. So we double click our line and say 1040. We should be all good. So we just rebuild it so it updates, and we're done. So we use the right plane, yeah, right. Since I since I, since I created the the feature from the middle, mid plane, uh, the right plane is gonna be in the center. If you didn't, if I didn't do that, and I did just blind, you see how the plane shifts and it's in the side. That's that's the only reason I did that from the mid plane. Because since all this is symmetric on both sides, I can just use that reference and put it in the center. Yeah. So now I'm gonna just say that face and this face have to be tangent. Oh, maybe I think there's a line here. Yeah, so you click on that line and then face and this shows coincident and just save it and that face and that and the bottom face has to be coincident as well maybe that one there you go we're all good now so using the assembly feature we're gonna go and say linear compiler pattern we want it on that 
direction you can you can click on any edge Oops. you can click on any edge I just click on this one yep and then just change the direction and we know this length is uh, 50 or 70 don't quite remember but you have to select the components, the components here and then just change this and then double click this to see the direction it's 25 so now I can actually edit this and say 25 so I know all of them will be next to each other and just keep going keep going keep going until it fills the, the whole thing so I'm gonna say 50 to see how it goes 100 and then just keep playing until I get something good from there mm, yeah that seems about right so now I'm gonna create an interference and we'll change that later and we're gonna skip some instances which will be the ones that are touching this this face so I see this one no two more I believe it's that it's that one yeah I think it's that one and maybe mm, no I'm gonna say I want 78 because I don't want an interference there I wanted to make a new part and change that so that's what I'm gonna do so once I finish that that's a look so now it's starting to look better for our talk <laughs> uh, just remember when if you have any questions during the live stream I can I will be doing my best to answer you as, as long as it's um, design related and if it's something that it's more personal, I will answer it at the end of the video. I just don't be afraid to ask me on the Twitch chat. So according to, I'm just gonna measure the length of this and that's 20. And from there to there, it's 25, I believe. Yeah. So right now I'm gonna create a, another part, which is gonna be will be called uh, floor number two or something like that so I'm gonna do the same thing I believe it, it was 25 by 7 and I'm gonna create the me uh, 1040 and from the mid plane and this is going to be called uh, wood floor 2 wood floor 2 I'm going to put it here right planes and then I'm going to select this one and this one to make them the same length and maybe just choose that face and this face to create a coincident page there you go and I'm gonna copy appearance and paste appearance on the part and the reason I did that is because I wanted to to see to make a hole here so it fits perfectly and I want to see the edges there you go so you have to measure from there to the line and it's in the set direction 1.67 so let's say 1.5 1.5 and from there to there it's 20 so let's say 20 25 20 no I'll do something better so right now I'm gonna create a cut And you have to wait. Uh, I'm gonna do one way here and another way here. So that's 
uh, select midpoint, select the line and say midpoint. Or you can also uh, make a point. Alright, uh, make a point. And just drag that point onto the midpoint here. And just make. Uh, I'm going to say, I said 1.5 here. And I'm going to go back to measure from there to there again. That's 20. So I'm going to say 21.5. And I'm just going to say those two have to be equal. And make a cut through all. Save, close, and we've got that. So, uh, if you guys are good enough to make this cut, which is only 1.5 mil, it's not much. You'll, pr you'll probably cut the, try to cut it, and then you won't have that. Um, your, your wood will just cut. So, just be mindful that this may or may not be possible possible depending on the wood that you buy or the tools that you're using but if you manage to do it uh, great because it's gonna look better if not uh, you're just gonna have to fill that up with another piece of wood or something like that and since I did that on both sides we have the same result on, on two sides and probably I'll do the same here So from there to there, it's uh, one degree. <laughs> or it seems like it's an angle, so I'm gonna measure it and say 25. Let's see if it's the same on the other side. We'll be lucky if it is. Nah. It's 17. Yeah. So we'll ha we're gonna have to make two two components. Mm, yeah, we're gonna make two components. And we said from there to there was twenty five. So we're gonna create a new one. This time we're going to create it differently. We're going to say from the top plane and say like that, 1040. Oops, never mind, the other way around. 1040 by 25. And I'm going to extrude it to seven mil and since I saved the appearance I'm just gonna paste it to the part and we'll have the same result and say with floor three and we're gonna say the same use the same reference as we did before So the right planes and I'm just gonna drag it a little bit out of the yeah there. And as you see I'm creating the reference to the first one just because the first one is this and the other ones is are are, are the patterns and if I change the patterns may maybe some reference will break so I'd rather just use that so it's easier for, for editing. There you go. And now we just have to make sure and make the cut. So just from there to there. And the second iteration is 10. So we can probably say 10 there. Alright. Uh, 
uh, better. I just, I'm just gonna edit part from the context so I can see and and have a normal view. So I'm gonna edit the first sketch. That's the reason I did a different method today. Uh, for this one, I'm gonna go like that. All right. So. We said 10, I guess. Should be perfectly there. And we're gonna say from there to there. Probably 30. No, 50. 40. Yeah, that's too, too perfect. 45. Maybe this is gonna be 8. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Oh, so now that I've got that really uh, that done, what I'm gonna do is it's gonna tell me there are some mistakes here, no problems because I'm still editing. And as you see, I just open the part and start working from the from the part itself, so it's easier for the computer and for my view. So now that we've got that, I'm just gonna cut. Cut, cut. And we said 25. Now I'm gonna drag it to see what changes. Okay, so this needs to be in the middle. So to do that, I'm gonna cr click on that point and that line and say coincident. Oh, no, maybe not. Mm. All right. So I'm just gonna create two lines. And say equal for construction. The point link in the line and say midpoint, and now it's completely defined. Now, as you see, we've got that shape now, and we're going to do the same on the other side. So, since we haven't actually done configurations, we could use uh, we could have just created one part, and with that uh, one part, we could have had all the floors. But since I haven't actually done a tutorial on that, I just created different parts. But uh, right now, what I'm going to do is create a new part and make a just do the same, pretty much. So in this case, I'm going to predefine it. I'm going to say collinear. These two have to be equal. And now I'm going to click on the middle line. Do the same there. Equal for construction. Making the point there. And in this case, I think this is 25 again. This is, uh, it was 17, but I'm gonna say 15. The length is 10, 40. And I don't know how much this is yet, but uh, probably I'll do the same as the other one, which is 45. Now I'm going to extrude it, 7 mil, base appearance, oops, base appearance, 
as a with Earth 4. Right. So now I'm gonna get that one and pretty much gonna do the same as the other ones. Still making an interference on the long side. So I'll just probably change the length. Right, so from there to there, it's So I'm gonna say 990. Luckily for me, I changed this so 990. Update. And we're gonna change this to. Let me just measure from there to there. X30. So I'm gonna double click it again and say 30. Four? No, sorry. 25, 28. Maybe a little bit more. 20.5. Oh, okay, never mind. This needed to be. Okay. I needed to uh, to subtract. So that's again 14, 25. So I'm gonna say. Minus 14.5 plus a clearance which will be 2 mil. Now we're good, now we're talking. Okay, so now I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna start editing this roof. Mm, yeah, so I'm gonna open this part and as you see, it's some, somewhere in the space. I, yeah, it's in the same orientation just because of the plane I created. So now I'm going to create a sketch here. And as I said before, who doesn't like panoramic views, right? So right now I'm going to do an uh, equal length. So I'm just dragging the lines and making the midpoints of the lines in the same position. And I'm gonna say that they're equal, collinear, and for construction. And I have my short keys for that, short keys. And as you see, I haven't touched and made any clicks and I have all that done. So, uh, I'm more worried about the separation between this and that. So that's what I'm gonna define. And that's where construction lines come handy because you can drag it and just define it. So I probably want a little bit of thickness there. Mm. Maybe not this line, but I'm gonna do the point and line dimension. So I'm gonna take 50. And since this is the same on the other side, it should be okay. And no matter how I drag this, that's always gonna be true. That's the good thing about this. So now I can pro properly define this uh, for 60. And I'm gonna say these two have to be equal. And now if I measure from there to there, it should be 50. Normal distance, there you go. So I'm gonna make a cut normal through all. Oh, with a 
that window and since I had the, the mirrored part on the other side, we've got that. So now it's starting to look a little bit better. Uh, I'm just saving. So now we're going to do the the roof, maybe. Yeah, the ceiling. I don't know if I have to if if it's better to have to have it halfway so that the dog can have a a little bit of light and more space if he wants to see the rain or something like that. Because from my point of view, this length right here is enough to have a storage space. So from there, approximately from there to there, it's 600 mil, so 60 centimeters. I think that's enough space to put some food and stuff like that. So. Yeah, we're gonna do that. So, since I did last time, this is a 3 mil plywood, sheet of plywood. So, we're gonna do the same. Gonna create a roof. So, we said 600, probably let's say 700. And we don't know how much this is yet. And we're gonna extrude it for three mil. Just gonna copy, apply, and paste this. Let's say you're uh, your second floor or second floor. And now we're gonna drag it into the assembly. So as you see, this is probably there to there should be about 994 so I'm gonna say 990 we're gonna edit the sketch just to give it a little dimension so I should have done this before uh, since I didn't know the dimension there I, you can just create it and then edit it later so now if I double click this the, this dimension will appear so now you can edit it, rebuild it, and have that. So since I created in the middle, I want to say right plane. There you go. And probably it's a good idea to have a flush to this. Control and say coincident. And then I think I have enough space to put in this face. So I'm gonna click the bottom face of the the, the sheet and that face and we've got that so right now what I'm gonna do is just hide the uh, hide this and these mirrors suppress and now you can see what I was talking about so probably just make it transparent so now the dock will have natural light going through uh, I, I was planning on filling this with acrylic and making another another window here and uh, a door here so you can put let's say food or uh, water or stuff like that so you, you, you can actually store it there and when you want to feed your dock you just put it take it from here and put it there. So that's, I think that's a good idea. So in this case, I'm gonna look it from the back and take a measurement from there. Oh. From there to there. So it says from, from face to face it's 28.5, so I'm gonna say 30. And it's luckily for us it's only on those two sides, so I'm gonna edit this. So 
so I, I believe a 30 by 30 call will be enough. Uh, so I'm gonna edit this. Oops, not that. All right, 30 by 20. I'm gonna say 30 here. The only reason I did that is because if I do 30 by 30, it's gonna create an automatic equal relationship. And if I wanna change it in the future, uh, I will have to edit it again instead of just changing that. So it's just a little trick that you can use. I mean, it's always good. If you wanna make squares, square, it's always good to have that on. But if not, uh, remember you have to define it twice. Now I'm gonna chase the loop. Uh, right click, select chain, there you go. And that one too, let's say for construction. And now I can delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. Just put it where it belongs. There you go. And now, instead of cutting like a trimming like I did last time, I'm just gonna click on the lines. So that's another way of defining. But just remember that you have. A construction line below a line so if you delete this you'll still have that construction line so that's I'm just showing you a different ways different ways of doing stuff so now since uh, everything has changed it's just asking me for the previous phase that's what I'm defining now and it's starting to look better and better each time I'm just gonna check how many, how much time we've been doing this. Yeah, I cannot see it yet. All right, so I think we're gonna finish it just by creating the actual hole here and another hole there for the for the door. So. So if you see, it, I have a transparency here, right? So if I click on that, it's gonna click, uh, it's gonna select the, the face or line or point that is behind that. But if I hold shift and click on that, it's gonna select the face that is transparent. So that's another tip that you can use. There you go, starting to look better and better each time. So now I remember, I remember we did a mirror here. So if I edit this, I can say, mm, let me just check here. Okay, I, I, I would, would have been able to do this. So I'm just gonna show you. So now if I make a change here, if I, let's say, make a hole. Right? If I make a hole here, since this is a mirror, you will have it there, right? But I don't want that because this face will be something different. This face will have a window and the other face will have a, a door. So in this case, I'm gonna delete this. And I'm gonna do the same, uh, Mirror. Mirror, there you go. And just click along that face. Go, click on that. Say mirror part. And now I can actually break link to the original part. So now this is a this will have the same shape, but if I change one the other the other thing won't change either. 
so that's that's good now I can finally just make a cut here and just gonna define it as the same okay we said five uh, how much how many mils if I double click on this it will show me the sketch so it's a 50 mil and 460 so I'm gonna say the same 50 mil and I'm gonna drag a line from the center to the center and say vertical for construction and I'm just gonna define that as 173.38 and just want to make it middle and to the middle no, maybe not mm. Maybe just in the middle from there. There you go. Now it's defined. So we can make it cut there through all. The only reason I make through all is because if I. Oh, it's to the other side. Or not. There you go. Because if I change this in the future, you see how the feature goes through all. <laughs> That's the whole point of it. If I define it for now, if I change, if I define it, let's say two mil or five mil. If I change this, you see the cut will always be five mil, and that's the only reason I did that. So let's put it back to how it was. Right. So luckily for us, we can cover this with acrylic and just uh, lock tight it, glue it to the plastic part, and we should be all sweet. We will have to seal this with some silicone, maybe just to avoid leakage, leaks, and stuff like that. Or you can just make a hole in the, in the square profile and bolt it if you want. So I'm gonna do the same here, but the, the cut is gonna be different. So, probably about there. Select the midpoint and say from that to that, it's gonna be a midpoint. And just gonna give it 200, oh, let's just say like we did last time, 50. And maybe the height will be different. This will have to be 250, 250 mil, 25 centimeters. That's a, like a ruler, normal ruler length. So I think you can put your stuff from there, right? Oh yeah, uh, yeah. I think that's enough. And we're gonna cut it. through all again and that's gonna be it for today so I'm just gonna give it a little bit uh, of pre-render perspective and everything so we can see how it looks and it's starting to look really cool right we will later make uh, put some lights on it so to see how it illuminates the whole thing But for now, I think it's, it's looking pretty good And I think I, I was talking about the structure uh, Oh, Sorry not that one I was talking about this structure being probably too weak for for what we're gonna put on top But since it's gonna be plastic, I think it's it will it will actually support it. Yeah, you can actually simulate that, but this is not, we're not in that stage yet. 
Uh, so, anyway, it's gonna be look good for now. Yeah. So next next episode, what we're gonna do is create a a front and back. So our dog will only have a one in entrance, and then here we're gonna create another another room here so it can sleep there and probably use a hinge mate just so we can animate that movement of the, of the door here and probably just fill up these holes with acrylic trimmel acrylic and pick and figure out a way of figure out a way of fixing this ply uh, material to the structure I mean this is easy you know just holes but this is there's a big gap here, so we'll, we'll have to figure that out. But it's looking really good. So just like a like a finished touch, I'm gonna say I'm gonna render it for you guys. Well, pre-rendered, not rendered completely. But that will have it. Uh, it will be a complete render in the in the YouTube icon, oh, sorry, YouTube pre preview window. So yeah, I, ha I, li I like how it's looking. It's looking pretty nice. I wonder if I should, uh, yeah, probably I should close this, just because the dog, if it's big enough, it will. You will try to eat your food and just stand in there. <laughs> so we'll have to be careful about that. See you next time. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like it and share it. Subscribe and follow me on social media to know when I'm live. And if you want to support this channel, click on the Patreon button. See you in the next design.